Hey and welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of this week's world and tech news leading towards the singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And I got the intro right. Yeah. Kind of, you mixed it up a little bit, but it's all yeah, it's it works. Good. It works. This week has been, or well, this two weeks have been awesome. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. We've got really good things. Oh dude, there is so much happening in tech yeah. right now. It's great. It is amazing. <laughs> and Look. none of it's about Facebook. Well, it's about Facebook, but yeah, we're, we're not, talking about it. We're not going to talk about Facebook. You mentioned it then though. But, yeah, yeah. Well, well. But uh, yeah, so what, what are the six things we're going to talk about? Well, do you want to do you th- your three and I'll do my three? Um, okay. There's uh, this really cool little dog robot, which is worth talking about. It can navigate terrain really well. It's nice. Sweet. Um, massive, massive, oh my god, holy shit. They've created the first synthetic life from a bacteria from scratch. Actually coding That's a big DNA one. from scratch, printing it out. Blah, 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 yep, That's yep, a yep. big one. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and then just some other little ones, like there's a lot of oh, the Google I.O. conference, a lot of stuff came out yeah, about I haven't seen anything this about week. That. Um, there was stuff about the Android Froyo update and uh, some other cool thing about YouTube, which I want to mention. Sweet. And one more thing, just, uh, we need to talk about location apps. They yeah. are getting so much money at the moment, so much. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it's, then just it's a big thing. Yeah. Cool. A lot of stuff. Uh, my ones are, first off is there's been a great discussion that they, they Mine aren't actual events, just more discussion type things that are, what does the up-down arrows mean to you and say, like, voting sites, if you like something or if you dislike something, why do you like something, why do you not? So, why do you click like? And it's something I've never actually thought about before, which I think is an interesting horny, thing to talk about. Not horny. Yeah, it is actually based up, a lot around that. Is it up or down? Ah, <laughs> uh, because sex and penis. No. Don't, it's not always sexual. He said sex. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, another one which is kind of cool, they've got a laser that tracks mosquitoes and shoots it out of the air with a laser. Like, that's just cool. I mean, there's no real, like, future impact of that, but that's fucking awesome. Dude, what if we destroy all mosquitoes? Yeah, with lasers. Yeah. We are the aliens. It's great. <laughs> and then, uh, the last one is, uh, Web 3.0. It's a, it's a short documentary, it's only about 15 minutes long about the future of the web. Uh, I found it really interesting. Uh, just speak about that. The semantic web. Yep. Yeah, about the semantic web, well, where the web's going. And cool. that, that's about semantic web and other things. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's lead off with one of yours. You've got a ton. Okay. Um, okay, we have to talk about this and think life first. Yeah, that's a... This, oh. is, this is pretty big. Like, it doesn't <laughs> seem big, but it is pretty big, depending on where it goes. Um, there's this guy called Craig Venter, and he has his own institute, the Craig Venter Institute. Um, and that's when you know you've reached something. <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. got your own institute. Yeah, I, I'm, we have friends who would love to have their own institute. Oh god, I'd yeah, love to have my own institute. Yeah, you would love your own institute. Tito's Institute, institute of Tech. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what he did is um, they've created literally life from scratch. He, it's been a 15 year project, um, but what they've done, from what I can tell, and tell me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but uh, he started off with a bacteria that they wanted to basically copy and make synthetically. So they got that bacteria, they then uh, extracted the DNA from that, um, put into digital form. So they've got the DNA on the computer, um, and because DNA is made up of the four, four different proteins. So you program that out in the computer, you then print that out using a DNA printer, because I mean all it is is just the, the four different chemicals, the CGAT, whatever yeah. they stand for. I don't know what they stand for, but they stand for something. Um, yeah, so they basically printed out these 1.08 million base pairs, which is pretty primitive, but you can actually start making life with that. They then p- used uh, yeast cells. Um, I'm thinking what they did is in use the yeast cells to actually eat the bacteria, yeah. and then injected the back the yeast into no sorry use the yeast cells to eat the DNA code. Yeah, well that they, they put like, the DNA code in the yeast cells pretty much. Yeah, well, I think they ate it or something. I don't know. Anyway, and then they... They got it in. And then they put that into a, a bacteria cell. Yeah. And it kick-started. It, it fucking worked. And it, like, duplicated, like, a billion times or something. Wait, well, I'm not sure a billion times, but it worked. It, it right. duplicated. Well, I, I read somewhere it, it, that... It was alive. Yeah, it was alive. And, yeah. well, I'm pretty certain I read somewhere that it was a billion times that it actually replicated okay. itself. Because, I mean, like, they're tiny well, yeah, bacteria. Yeah, like, I mean, it's like crazy. tiny, yeah. But, and um... It worked. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it actually it's amazing. Worked. And... It's actually got to the point now where you code the DNA on your computer, print it out, inject it into a cell, it works. That's that's it, what this is. This they've worked <laughs> out how to do that. And one of the one of the cool things he worked out it's um so crazy. <laughs> one of the cool things he they did, the team did to show that it was synthetically produced and actually made from scratch is they put in watermarks. 
And so within this DNA code of this, um, they're calling it JCVI-SYN 1.0. So it's actually like... Oh, a, yeah, a catchy name. No, we're, <laughs> no, no, but the cool thing about it is it's like code. It's like version 1.0. Oh, right, so okay. So it's a Sin, software uh, program yeah, now. Synthetic. It's life. It's like a software program. But um, yeah, the, the watermarks they put in there is the 46 um, names of the authors and contributors to the, to the project. Um, and also three different quotations and a fucking web address. They actually could put that in there. Yeah, the DNA of this life they've made has a web address in it. <laughs> How cool is that? Holy crap, I did not know that. Like, I just looked at the most basic thing of this story. Yeah. I did not, that is incredible. Go, go watch the video. He, um, he did a, a press conference and he's got some other videos talking about it. Um, well, he did it on Reddit. He did an, uh, one of the guys who authored the paper, not yeah, the main yeah, guy. Yeah. But he did it, um, yeah, an yeah, IMA, yeah, like, yeah, where you can yeah. ask him questions. Yeah. That was kind of cool. And yeah. uh, this is the beginning. Yeah, he was saying where this is going. Just just now, what he's actually doing is the he's working with um, Exxon, and he's trying to create algae that can um, pull CO two from the air and turn that into hydrocarbons oh, to yeah. make you know straight out fuel that you can just use in your engine. Because apparently the algae at the moment just can't do it. Nature can't provide that, so they have to reprogram the algae themselves. Um, and they're also working on apparently the flu vaccine each year takes a couple of weeks to months to actually create, and he reckons with this new. Um, Kind of system he can do it within 24 hours. <laughs> so and and this is just the start of the it entire is. biotech revolution. Well, once this becomes open, that people can actually yeah. start coding their own things. Like they can say, oh, well, I want to make this DNA, I want to make that. Yeah. If they can actually standardize the it's actual crazy. injection into cells, then oh, yeah, biotech that, revolution. That's done. <laughs> Co code on a computer, test it out um, artificially and yeah. virtually to see if it'll work and live. Yeah, and, and then, then pff, program it in, and you've got programmable life that will replicate. Replicate and could be dangerous, but oh, it's gonna be really dangerous, <laughs> but, but it's yeah. gonna be great. The yeah. benefits, oh my god, that's cool. I, I I can't wait till they put something like, oh, make your own DNA on eBay. It's like, ooh, <laughs> they've got it there, but well, they got DNA test kits in like um, Walgreens in the States, yeah, now. yeah. I've heard like, about that, it's bizarre. We're, we've test your own DNA, and, yeah, I, I, I don't actually, we're, we're grasp in the future, where we're in we the future. Are. Yeah, that we're actually at that point of like we're monkeys <laughs> suddenly becoming <laughs> creating trans... lives. Yeah, yeah. We and we're, we're programming it. It's becoming an information technology yeah. where you just put it in and it goes crazy. And of course, you've had all the religious groups that have come out and said like, "Oh, you know, they don't, don't play God. Leave that to us." Blah blah blah. Playing God for ages. Anyway, yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> one of my things that I will talk about is uh. uh Oh, I found a, the Reddit IMA thing there. Okay, uh, well, I'll go about the... Let, let's go about the Web 3.0 thing. I don't really have anything that relates to that, so it's kind of... It's all right. Yeah. No segue. No segue. Anyway, this thing is about Web 3.0, and it's talking about the future of the web. And it's a fantastic movie. It's by, from this person called Kate Ray. It's about 15 minutes long, and it's just talking about where the web's going to be going. And her main, her main point is that we're creating far too much information to actually do anything with that even something like Google, just a text box where you type what you want, isn't really providing it to you because there's like billions of new things added every day. Yeah. And so it's looking at, it's a semantic web which we've spoken about before. Yeah, Web3.0 is a semantic web. Yeah. No, it's a new name. It, was, it won't be called Web3.0. It, web name, it yeah. won't be called Web3.0, it'll be called something else. It's, um, yeah, but it's, it's just about that. So it's really worth looking at just seeing the, um, that that's really our main problem at the moment. I mean, you can apply that to just a massive uh, societal level that, we have so much information now. It's not just a single TV with like five channels, which what it used to be. Like, I mean, I, I can't even fathom what that would have been like for our ancestors, or ancestors, like grandparents, parents even. Yeah. That that's where you got your information, and then newspapers and maybe a few books and all of that. This is now, we have got too much information and the whole point now is sifting through it. That like some guy in here, I forget his name, he was in the movie actually saying that if I was creating a media company now, it wouldn't be creating new media, it would be just filtering it. it. Yeah, aggregating it yeah. and filtering it. Which is such an, a big thing. I mean, that's what I think of any of the big companies that have been on the internet recently. It's all yeah. about filtering. I mean, that's what Twitter's big thing, 140 characters. I mean, Google is just filtering their own yeah. way. Facebook, same thing. It's just your friends. They haven't quite grasped it yet, though. No, not yet. I don't think so. It's I mean, still coming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, their best method for filtering is, you know, voting yeah. and making it really lame. short 140 characters. Like, yeah. 